morning everyone it's your girl Annie welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here today I've got another huge collective thrift haul for you guys the last one really seemed to be a hit you all really seem to enjoy it so I decided to go ahead and do another one because I have been thrifting more items for our home we are very close to moving in let's hope by the time you are watching this video that we have closed on the house and have begun that process but anyways I'm just gonna enjoy the thrifting until that all happens and I'm going to share my haul with you I've got some really good stuff birds I've got some really good stuff so let's just go ahead and jump right into the haul I've got a lot of stuff and I think I'm gonna start with the clothing items let's do the clothes first the first article of clothing that I have are these very cute little biker shorts if you've seen some of my furniture flipping videos you may guess these are not gonna fit me and these are not for me these are to resell they were half off so they were only 250 and they don't have a specific oh yeah they do the brand is flirtitude active but I know biker shorts are very popular right now in that sort of distressed almost acid wash so pick these up to resell I only got two items to resell, so that was one of them, of course, at the bottom of the bag. But this is the other item I got to resell. These are a pair of Root 66 High Rise Distressed Mom Jean. I wanted to keep these for myself, but they did not fit. They are a little, just like that much too big. So, for like two bucks, they were 25% off. I decided to go ahead and resell them. We've got the little branding over here. So if you are not familiar, or if you do not follow me on Instagram, I will post it right down here. Then you may not know, I do resell clothes on Poshmark. I will go ahead and link my Poshmark in the description, but I do post a lot of my Poshmark updates on my Instagram, so go ahead and follow me there. And if you're interested, these will be posted very soon, if not by the time you're watching this video. The rest of the clothes that I have are for myself. And at this particular thrift store, it's the Salvation Army. It's my favorite, it's my go-to. If I don't go there at least once a week, I really, I get like withdrawals. And I am obsessed with finding sweatpants there. Like comfy pants. These pants that I'm actually wearing right now, from that thrift store. And they're Wild Fable from Target. And they were like $2. Where are you at, Bubba? Are you dying to go outside? He wants to go outside so bad. But I find a lot of my comfy pants there. So every time I go, I always look and I found another pair. I love, I'm finding that I really love like a thicker elastic band. I don't know if these are women's or men's, but it really doesn't matter to me. So they're a jogger. Heathered gray jogger style, but they've got a pocket in the back, which I think is so cute. I want to say these were $5. I took the tag off already. I think they were five bucks, but they're so comfortable. Like they're thick and just comfy. So I had to pick up those. I do work from home a majority of the week, so I'm always in comfy pants. That's why I'm now a collector and a hoarder of comfy pants. Next pair of comfy pants that I picked up again gray were these where's the branding champion brand again jogger style I think because of this little situation these are for men even though oh my god yeah these are <laughs> yeah these are definitely men's sweatpants but I don't care they are now mine they were only five they were only five dollars so i went ahead and picked them up these are so comfortable i tried them on and i was like oh yeah i want those the next article of clothing also from the men's section is this nightmare before christmas t-shirt it's got pumpkin king on the back what else does it say oh yeah tim burton's the nightmare before christmas it's actually tagged as like i guess their official merch i don't know I want to say this was two dollars a dollar 99 and I just had to pick it up I love Halloween I'm obsessed with everything spooky and I cannot wait for spooky season this year so now I've got a t-shirt 
The next thing that I picked up was a very, it's like a duster. I'm also always cold, so I always like to have just like jackets that I can throw on. It's just a really long, really pretty and soft, again, gray duster. I will take some clips of me wearing it and insert it here. It's just cozy, you know? So this was, I think, $6.99, so $7. Can't beat it. I also got this really nice pair of acid wash jogger style sweatpant denim situations, but they are Wild Fable brands for only five bucks. These are so cute. They're more, more like a mid-rise, but I can get away with wearing them high-waisted and they actually fit me really nice even though they're a medium. So that's different, but for only $5, these are really cute. It's like a little crop top. Very cute. And the last article of clothing is this amazing black velvet maxi skirt. Like this is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Wait, up, bud. It's way too big on me, but it was only $5 and I was like, like I need this. Like this fabric is just luxurious. It's got a slit in the front. So cute. So that is it for the clothing. Put all this back in the bag. Moving on to some just more random things. I bought this. It's just like a hand crocheted knitted placemat, but I'm thinking of using it on our countertops in our new house because they're, they're on the darker side. So for contrast, just to put this, I can use it as a trivet for larger trays, larger dishes, something. It was 49 cents, but this day blue was half off. So it's a quarter. I mean, this could definitely be a multi-purpose item for our house. So I will definitely be using that. Ooh, what is next? I'll just go with what's sprinkled right down here. So I picked up this urn. I think I mentioned in a previous video, I'm like urn obsessed at the moment. Every time I see a vase with this shape, I'm like, I need it. So I got this. This was $1.99 at Goodwill. Was it $1.99? No, it was $2.99. It was $2.99 at Goodwill. And I remember picking up, you can actually kind of see it right there. It's the same exact one from my favorite thrift store, the Salvation Army for a dollar. So I was like, but whatever, I picked it up anyways, cause I like it. And the next thing I picked up was this stunning picture. In one of my Thrift With Me videos, if you haven't seen it, I was watching actually, her name is Jenna Pierce on YouTube. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. If not, I can link her down below. But she mentioned she keeps a pitcher in her kitchen to refill her dog's water bowls. And I was like, yeah, I wanna do that. So I've been on the hunt for a pitcher. I passed one up at the Salvation Army. And every time I watch that video back, I'm like, I wish I would've gotten it, but I'm glad I didn't because this one is stunning and it will, I'm more of a gold bronze person, but I think this like tarnished silver, I can make it work. And because it's dark, like our kitchen, it'll definitely work. This was, this was $5.99, but 25% off, so like $4. And I also picked up these adorable little mugs. I picked up four of them. They're all wrapped up. They were 99 cents a piece, and these are going to go in my Etsy store when I get around to posting them. If you haven't seen last week's video, I have opened an Etsy store to sell the things that I find that I don't necessarily want to keep. Like these are just so cute to pass up in the thrift store. And I'm like, but I don't, I don't need them. I'm like, but somebody does. So I decided to open an Etsy store and very soon the set of four will be available for purchase. I will link my Etsy store down below. I do sometimes post my home decor or like home items. I do sometimes post my home decor items or kitchen items in my Poshmark as well. So that will be linked down below. And my mom, my mom comes with me for shopping almost every week and she fit. My picture. 
and she found this. If you've watched my videos enough, I really don't need to say anything more than just brass candlestick. And it was only, oh, the lighting. It was only 49 cents, 50 cents, could not literally, I, we literally couldn't leave it. So we picked that up. I also grabbed these. They are little just hand woven trivets. Yeah, little hand woven trivets apparently from the Panama Canal rainforest. And they came in this little basket and they were only two bucks. So I picked these up also because I need to take a sip. Got this tumbler. This is like a Starbucks dupe. It's from Walmart, but it was only a dollar. These. a piece if you know you know they had like seven of them at this thrift store that day and I was like what so I snagged these these are for these will be for resale either locally or shipping I don't know yet but snagged some of these because for the price ooh, had to I also snagged this. Just a really simple oval frame. It was only 49 cents. It might have been 25% off. I'm not quite sure, but even if it wasn't only 50 cents, I mean, that's a great deal for a frame. I also picked up this brass easel. I felt like, again, for my Etsy store, if I have plates or like a frame that needs to be propped up to have like a really aesthetic, thing to prop them up. It was only 50 cents, so I grabbed that. What do you know? Another oval frame. This one. Like, so cute. It comes with a little kickstand, or you can hang it on the wall, and it was only, wait, it was 25% off this day that I got it, so like 30 something cents. Snatched it. The next few items are mirrored, oops, are mirrored trays. These are really popular. This one actually has like a little hook where you can put it on the wall. And then I also just got a larger one. These were both 99 cents, so only a dollar. They're cute. For a dollar, just grab them. I also, from the same thrift store, the Salvation Army, grabbed this vessel. And another one of my thrift with me hauls, like in the video, I bought another vessel at the same thrift store that I plan on DIYing. I might DIY this one. It's got like some really cool like texture. I may or may not DIY it, but what I'm thinking is on the top of our cabinets in our new house, they're kind of open where you can decorate the top of it to do just like a bunch of vessels, like all different varying types, varying shapes, colors, what have you. So now I'm starting a collection, and this guy was only, I don't know if I said it yet, it was only $5.99. It was a good deal. These next two things that I picked up are just beautiful. It was one of those moments where I saw them and I was like, I'm taking those home. This, so I have two of them, the other one's packed away. Stunning oil lamp look at the color and like this detail oh, and, like the little wick pops up I adore these they are so cute they need a good cleaning but they were only five dollars $4.99 for both of them and I just thought they were like snatch them so quick they are perfect and I've been on the hunt for a really pretty oil lamp I wanted one that was all brass, of course, because why would I want anything else? But I saw these and I was like, ooh, the color, like they were just really pretty. So two of those. Next thing is this adorable vanity mirror. Look at the detail on that in the back. Like it is a good size. It's a good 
weight to it. So like I'm assuming it's solid brass, but it's just so cute. And it was only $3 at Goodwill. Snatched it, like that is so cute. I have a vintage um, jewelry box. If I can find a picture of it, I will post it here. But I think like this, like sitting next to it with like the jewelry box's little claw foot brass feet. Ooh, so cute. So snatch this. Also at the Salvation Army, and I feel like 98% of this stuff is actually all from the Salvation Army. Goes to show you how much good stuff they've got at really good prices. But I also picked up this. This is a king size flat sheet. I also have the matching, ooh, the lighting. Ooh. I also have the matching fitted sheet. But I just thought this print was really pretty. I love the color. And both this flat sheet and the fitted sheet were only $7 a piece. For a king size, that is a very good deal. So I've got that. I would, I've got the fitted sheet, but it's got the mugs that I showed earlier wrapped up in it. So I'm going to keep those safe, but I love that print. So when we move, I plan on basically changing almost everything that we own. And that's going to be a very good start. I think we're on to the last piece and I saved it for last because it is literally stunning. So my mom and I found this, I say new, the store it's new to us but i kid you not i've probably driven by this place every week for my entire life basically until i moved out of where i grew up and i've never been in the store until a couple days ago and i will insert some photos here it was literally filled to the brim every inch had some sort of antique some sort of vintage this vintage that and it was amazing it was very expensive they had a really large um, they had a really large frame painting. I think it was an oil painting. I'll again post the photo here. It was $14,000. So that's the kind of store that I was strolling through. But I was able to find something that was in my price range. And this is it. <laughs> like, what? This topper is heavy. And are we shocked that it's brass? Cause you shouldn't be. And it was only 18 bucks, but I think it was 25% off or 40% off. We ended up paying $14 for it. And this is going straight into the master bathroom of our new house. What goes in it? I don't know, but like imagine it with like this laying next to it and like a really cute jewelry, jewelry box. The aesthetic is coming together and I just, my mom and I both freaked out when we saw this. She was like, you're going to like that. You need it. I was like, yeah, you're totally right. So I came home with me and I love it. All right. And that concludes our haul. I want to say this is going to be longer than the last one. I'm almost pretty sure that it is, but I found just some really, really good stuff ranging from clothes to kitchen items to vintage things. I mean, I just had a ball finding all of these things as I normally do. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If I had to pick a favorite, can you guess? Can you guess what it is? It's going to be that last big brass. I just put it away, so I don't want to take it back out again. That really big brass container that I found at that antique store. It's literally perfect. So let me know down in the comments if you agree, if that's your favorite thing, or if there was something else that you were vibing with, let me know. I would love, I would love to hear some feedback. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. If you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out thus far, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Next week, we are going to have a thrift with me video and very, very soon, the decorate room transformations, all of those fun things are going to be coming because hopefully we will be in the house soon. Just, just put the good vibes out there that we will be in the house. It's been a process and we are holding steady, but hopefully very soon. I know a lot of you guys are very excited to see those room transformations and I've got ideas for this house and I wanna show you where I put all of these things that we have been seeing for the last couple of weeks, couple of months in the new house. So I will quit rambling and until the next one. Bye guys.